Hey everybody, welcome to another episode. My name is Dr. Paul. Dr. Stowers. Today what we're going to do is answer one of your questions. And the question is, I always hear you guys talking about the importance of making a good first impression. So can you walk me through the steps to actually making a good first impression? So if you are interested in how to start the encounter off very strong, make a great first impression so that that carries over, stick around. This episode is for you. So making a good, rather a great first impression is extremely important because you want to start the encounter up here. You don't want to start down here. You want to start high and you want to keep it high. You don't want to start low and then have to dig yourself out of that rut. You want to start really high so that you can sort of coast on that. And the way you do this is very simple. The first 20 seconds of your encounter, once you open the door to the point when you sit down and you start your interview are super, super important. What you want to do is smile, make eye contact, give them a firm handshake, ask them how they're doing, make sure they're comfortable. And then what that's going to do, it's going to instantly connect you. It's going to show them that you care. You're going to build rapport, maybe build a little empathy depending on the situation. And then you're going to take a seat, start your interview. So I'm going to let Dr. Stavros toss in a couple points and then we're going to give you a couple samples so you can actually see and hear word for word what you should say when you come in to guarantee that you start everything off on the right foot. So they have the CS points in their hands. So when you walk in, you have to do that shake. You have to look confident. You have to be interacting because if you're not, they get a bad impression of you. So that's the whole point. You have to connect and you have to get them from the moment you walk in. Sure. So the most important thing is make sure you're freshly shaven. Make sure your hair looks good. Yeah, of course. And they say not to put perfume or cologne on because yeah. if you walk in, it smells really strong. It might be some reaction, right? So sure. you want to look good because it's as if you're walking into your residency interview because sure. every patient that you see, which are 12 patients, they have to give you points, right? So I tell students, if you really don't want to understand or really you know, absorb exactly what's going on, think of it as your residency interview. It really is a residency interview. Without your CS score, you can't go to residency, right? So 100%. treat it that way. Yeah. So let me walk you through what it should look and sound like. So step one, knock on the door, open the door. Make eye contact immediately and be smiling. Close the door behind you, don't slam it. I've had students in the past who I'm training with them, they open the door and then they just walk forward and they push it shut behind them and it goes boom. Or others just leave it open. And well, that's bad in. too. But one way or another, just a slam door is not fun to listen to. No. So just guys, close the door gently behind you and don't move forward. Don't push it. Just close it, move forward. Keep smiling, making eye contact, extend your hand. So you're going to say, Hi, Mr. Jones, how are you? I'm Dr. Paul. I'm going to be taking care of you today. Shake their hand. They're going to say, it's nice to meet you. Ask them if they're comfortable. Are you comfortable in the room today? Is there anything I can do to make you more comfortable? Make sure that the, the uh, drape is on their lap and then say, would it be okay if I took a seat and we got started? Remember, communication is 90% nonverbal, 10% approximately sure, verbal. So the way you look, the way you, your eyes are smiling, the way your face is smiling, the, the handshake, all these things are nonverbal. And so they carry a lot of weight. So you wanna make sure you do these things correctly. Then of course, what you say is important, but it's not the entire package. So when you want to do these things, say these things, be warm, be friendly, be kind. A quick tip on this, a lot of, I see a lot of students do this. When they sit and they're about to start the encounter, they look down at the board as they're talking throughout the whole uh, introduction. See, right now I just lost communication with you. I lost contact with you, right? Dr. Summers is not paying attention. Same kind of concept. Because you're focusing so much on your next set of questions, which you should know by heart by now, right? We talk about mnemonics and knowing your structure. That, Mr. Smith, you know, I want to ask you a couple of questions and see what's going on. You're losing connection, right? And your cyst starts going down. So remember, when you, when you go into the introduction, your eyes have to be on the patient the whole time. Shake hands like Dr. Paul said. Don't look down, don't look away. Look at your person that's going to give you your score to pass a CS exam. That's all there is to it. So make sure that you follow those steps. Make sure that you are smiling. Make sure that you come across as friendly. Firm handshake is essential. Don't forget, make sure you ask permission to take a seat and get started. If you follow those tips, go ahead. One question. Yes. What's your thoughts between sitting and standing? I prefer sitting. I think when you're standing above someone and looking down on them, yeah. there's a psychological, and this is one of those things that it's not something that you even realize, but it's psychologically uh, going to stimulate the, their, that, that thought in their brain where he's standing over me and he must think he's superior. And you don't want to do anything that puts you in that position. 
So taking a seat puts you on a level field. Sure. You're eye to eye when you're taking a seat. Or they're a little bit above you, which is good because that way at least you're not looking down on them. That's my opinion. And also it's 12 cases, right? So I mean, if you're, seat, <laughs> if you're standing 12 cases and I'm a tall guy, you're a tall guy, you're gonna get tired. So just enjoy, sit down, cross your legs, communicate, let them, show them that you care because you'll be standing for the physical exam. You'll be standing, perhaps you might have to want to stand, but you don't want to be swaying back and forth. There's little nervous tics that students have. Sit down, compose yourself, connect with the patient, get your points. There you go. So hopefully that helped you guys. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions you want us to answer in an upcoming episode, drop them below and we'll get back to them. Thank you guys all for stopping by. We'll see you on the next episode. See you guys.